So in this video, we got my 1965 GMC 2500. We take the old rat house, AKA bench seat, to be completely rebuilt from the bottom up. I'm talking every single thing on this seat is going to be brand new. I also get a carpet, and by the time this video is over, we are going to see that all come together. Let's get started. And now, you're watching the magical musician who makes music with magical cars, channel of YouTube. Welcome to Bodie Vision. Hey, so what is up and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me yet again on another video. So the bench seat that was in this truck, it was rough to say the least. Every single thing I like to try to do in house, but something like this, I just needed to enlist some professionals. So I got it dropped off locally to Dickie's Upholstery and luckily my buddy Berto works there. So he was able to film a lot of this process, which is really cool because I'm just as excited as I hope you are to see some of this process. So after the guys tore down the rear section, I'm talking the foam, the fabric, and everything went straight into the dumpster. Now that metal can start to get prepped for a fresh respray. So now at this point, I'm actually able to contribute just a little bit. Once they started tearing down the bottom section, they saw that the lower springs had broken a few spots. So I actually drove over there to the shop. I was able to use their welder and everything. I came, welded these little springs back together and no one's ever gonna know that this repair was ever made, which is really cool to go over there, get that little section re-welded so that way they can keep this thing rolling. So now that I was able to make that little repair, they can go ahead and get the bottom paint matched to match the rear, then start rebuilding this entire seat from the ground up.
Bro, so I just got the call that the seat is finished, ready to go pick it up. So let's not waste any time, man. Let's go pick this thing up. Cool, man, dude, it looks so freaking good. It looks even better in person, dude. The pictures don't oh, really yeah. show how. Man. Dude, that's gonna be sick, right? Oh man, I thought it, the pictures were like, it's like different color. I like yeah, Miguel did a great job, man. Everything lines up real nice. No, it looks, it looks yeah, sick, dude. Thing. And so the brown, oh, dude, new foam and everything, right? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty stiff at first. Yeah. But, I mean. As long as it doesn't got rats in it like it did no, before. No, no, you'd be good. You might yeah. be really good, dude, dude. He even first sprayed back here. Yeah, we, yeah we, I made sure we uh, oh, painted it all damn, up Damn, it was brand new. It's awesome, man. Yeah. It, look, it looks they're like They're still clean. Like, so it's still it's, like, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it's honestly. You can paint those up too if you do your carpet. It's yeah. honestly too clean for my truck. If you do your carpet, I don't know, man. Your truck's coming out pretty clean. Yeah, it's coming along. Dude, it looks, oh, so, it looks so good. You did such a good job. Look good once you get it in there. Yeah. We'll have it back by dinner. Damn, so how good does that seat look? And I also got a little bit of extra plaid for if we wanted to do some kind of like door cards or sun visors or something like that. We can do that in the future. We'll just have to see. So we got it loaded up uh, behind that seat. All right. Let's make our way back to the shop. All right, so since picking up the seat in the order that we get stuff and just how it works out, I ended up actually throwing the seat in the shop right there, kind of on the tool side. And we just got a carpet in the mail for this truck. Now this carpet is definitely going to require some trimming, but I like it like that. I'd rather put the cuts where I need them. Come on, farty man. What the hell is that? Anyways, so let's see how this goes. I'm gonna get this thrown in, trim it where I need to trim it. And then we will go from there. And you know I had to go with a dark brown carpet. So with the seat, we kind of got the light brown, kind of like the peanut butter look. And then with all the plaid, it's kind of a light brown and a dark brown plaid. So I felt like the dark brown floor with the light brown leather and then the plaid ties it all together. I think it is going to look really good. So what I'm doing right now is kind of just laying it out, figuring out where I'm going to trim it. This is going to come out a few more times, especially because I'm gonna wanna glue this thing down really well. This lighting is horrible. The sun is killing me. All right, so we just got that thumbnail shot. So at this point, the carpet is in here, it's all down. Now it's not glued down completely yet. I was thinking I wanted to get everything fit and finished out, get all my holes in the carpet and figure all that stuff out so that way I have kind of a nice template before I glue it down. But at the point of it being nice and down, I think I want to leave it in case I have any kind of leaks and whatnot, then I can go ahead and pull it and address some of those things. So kind of right now, we're in a little bit of a dry fit stage still. There might be a huge phase two of this entire build, but ultimately this is my work truck. I want it to start working. So now what I had been working on the last couple of days, we got the clutch completely bled out. We have the brake switch in there all good. That's something that I had to replace. What you crying for, man? Come on brake switch is something that I had to replace because it was one of the only original things still in the truck so it figures that if it's original and still in the truck well so I'm not mad that we had to replace that also we have the throttle all set up and ready to go the shifters in there the idea was I wanted to get every single thing done before we get the seat in there because I don't want to work in here like I got so much space in here but without the seat we would not have the space so let's get the seat thrown in there, see how this thing looks, and kind of wrap up this interior for phase one. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Bro, you have no idea, no idea how excited I am to finally kind of get a good feeling of how this truck is going to be, how it's going to drive, how it's going to sit, how I'm going to sit in it, running down the road. Ooh, FedEx just pulled up. One second. Mm -hmm. Ooh what do we got? Dude, two videos in a row. Check this out. This is the Braun Omen that they sent me. So this guy right here, the reason why I wanted this boot, I'm gonna just slip it on, run out to the shop at night or if I gotta take the dog out. Also, Bodie Vision 10 give you $10 off your first purchase of boots or apparel. So I've been loving doing stuff with Brunt. Look out for more stuff to come. 
real big stuff coming with it. So excited for that. Let's look on. Let's look in this interior a little bit more up close because I, I want to show you how it looks. All right, so we got a little bit of POV action right here. As you can see, we got the peanut butter guts. We got the brown carpet down there. You can still see some of that sound deadening, but as you're actually riding in it, hanging out, it's just a super good, really good look. Now the shifter, I actually had to rock it back a little bit because the transmission sits a little bit more forward, but either way, that's first gear, doesn't hit the dash. That second gear doesn't hit the seat. Then we got third, which is even shorter. And then fourth, which is even shorter. And then last of all, reverse, no problem whatsoever. So all good, everything looks super solid. This interior is really coming together. Really cool mixture of new and old, weathered and worn, nice nice stuff bro so with how nice it is in here you are going to have to pry me out of this thing the seat is phenomenal so comfortable so cool to have a done up interior i've really never had something this nice and this cool so if you guys are looking to have your interior completely redone or just a bench seat redone like mine is i'll probably be doing more work with them dickies upholstery go check them out 10 out of 10 would recommend it so at this point with my truck right here something that i have done is we have fired up the motor but i never let it run for more than I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute because I did not have any of the radiator hoses connected and there was no coolant in the motor, but I do have this upper flexi boy. Now I don't super love these flex hoses. I know a lot of guys use them. I would just prefer a good old hose, but I was trying for a little while, couldn't figure out what exact hose that I needed. So I opted for the flexi up top. The bottom is just a pretty simple 90. I'm gonna have to trim this down a little bit. So let's go ahead and get these connected so that way I can throw water in here. I'm just gonna throw water in here so that way I can make sure everything is all good. Nothing is leaking. Number one, if water spills, I don't care. Number two, water is cheap. Then if everything is fine, I will go ahead and swap it out for coolant. I don't know if everybody else does it that way, but I just gave you two good reasons why I like to do it. So let's go ahead and get that knocked out. So here's our template. I got this right here. This side was good, being the long side. All right, so let's go ahead and fill this, fill this puppy up. I know a lot of guys in Florida just run water anyways, to be honest, but... Nice and easy stream for Sunday. So now the crazy thing is with this truck, I had dropped off my drive shaft like three weeks ago. I went to go pick up my drive shaft a few days back and now I actually gave them two pieces, one that needed to be extended and then another piece that didn't need to be messed with but they needed to have it so that way they could balance. Ah! And another piece that they needed to have so that way they can balance the entire system together. Now it turns out when I went to go pick up my draft shaft, they gave me my extended piece but my piece that didn't need to be messed with they gave me somebody else's piece. They completely lost mine. So now it's back at the drive shaft shop. They're going to make me a brand new one from scratch, which is cool because they're going to make me a new one, but it sucks because if I had it, we would be on the road today. So hopefully in the next few days, we get that drive shaft all sorted. And then that also gives time for me to take it slow, really make sure everything is all good. So let's see if this old girl wants to fire. It's been a few days. Uh, also, we got the hood right there. Replace this front little section if you didn't see that earlier. Uh, let me make sure it's in neutral with no drive shaft. Everybody knows. All right, she's on. She's a lot more quiet. Not in the shop. What do we got for water temp? Less than 100 degrees. 
I'd like to see it come up to Tim. It's so annoying that I got the clutch bled, I got everything ready to go. I could just pop it in reverse and be off to the races. But unfortunately I cannot because we don't have a drive shaft. So she's running, baby. We got some uh, smoke burning off the headers. All good. She's just gonna let that burn off. what I like. Now it looks a little bit crazy. I don't know how well you can see it. It looks like a lot of smoke is just pouring from the engine bay, but one thing or one reason why I don't care and I'm not worried about it whatsoever is because I can sit there and look at the headers and see that it's fine. Let me make sure I got good oil pressure. I don't see why I wouldn't. Oil pressure, 50 PSI. We're really smoking now, boy. You don't want to try me, baby. I'll extinguish you right away. Just in case. All right, so where we are right now, I saw too, too hot on the gauge. I saw about 220, 230, getting up closer to 250 to be honest, but when I went to go look at the upper and lower radiator hose, the upper part of the radiator was hot, the lower part of the radiator was cold, so I know that thermostat didn't pop or it wasn't getting really good flow at the water pump. What the heck are you? Get out of my video. <laughs> Okay, sit right there and be good. So I know my water pump. So I probably had a bubble at my water pump or it wasn't getting good flow through the motor. So I brought out my little funnel so that way we could burp the system. But then the battery was getting so low because the truck hasn't drove. So the alternator hasn't had a chance to charge. And I know the alternator is doing its thing because we are running at about 13 volts when it is running. So it's kind of just one of those things. Cannot do a full build as far as getting the motor torn down 100% and not expect to have any hiccups. I don't even know if I consider this a hiccup. Do you think this is a hiccup, Ava? So what I got going on too, we have the hood right here. I replaced this entire front section the other day, so that's looking really good. Now the hood has like a kind of cool rust look, kind of a cool patina look to it, but it doesn't match the rest of the truck. My problem with, with the way that the hood looks is it's really rusty up here. And this is green, so it's so dramatic from the green to the rust. So I kind of want to blend some of that out so it looks a little bit more natural. Also, we need to get rid of all of this fresh metal as well as all of the black just so that way we can kind of have a cool, really nice look. And I plan on, the sun is so bright. I plan on doing a bunch of that stuff this coming week, kind of getting the body all finalized now that mechanically we are good as long as, I mean, I'm going to be able to burp the system and it'll be fine. Then I'll get my drive shaft. Then we will be on our way to the races. As far as this video goes, what you think? Fire? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Tell them you'll see them next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff. You know what it is, YouTube. We will see you on the next one. I'm out. <laughs>